eastern Congo has been engulfed in violence for nearly two decades, and the civilian population has borne the brunt of it. It's estimated that nearly six million people have died, and many hundreds of thousands have been wounded or raped. At the hospital, Kabuya is recovering from being raped. This is really what the conflict in the Congo has been all about. The natural wealth of the country. The mine is under the control of one of the militias, which charges locals a fee just to dig here. And if they find any gold, the militia takes a cut. In this part of eastern Congo, there are still thought to be 30 or more militia groups, some of them from neighboring Rwanda and Uganda, who terrorize the local population. The situation in the Congo is not just a Congolese issue, it's not just an African issue, but it's a global issue. It's a worldwide issue. Congo is a part of the second largest rainforest in the world. It's vital to the fight against climate change. If you're concerned about climate change, you should be concerned about Congo. Half of those who have died as a result of the conflict are children under the age of five. So if you're a child advocate, if you're concerned about children, you ought to be concerned about what's happening in the Congo. If you're concerned about women, if you have a mother, a sister, you ought to be concerned about what's happening in the Congo. If you drive an automobile, or fly an airplane, or own a cell phone, as a human being, at the very least, you ought to be concerned. You ought to say something. You ought to want to find out why this is happening. You ought to be moved to want to bring an end to it.